Hello everyone and welcome back to Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood Reaction, episode 20, I think, part 2, episode 7. Um, last time we had what, for me, is by far the best episode in this show so far. It was incredible, um, I officially love Mustang as a character so much, um, Lust died? Which is pretty crazy. Um, we found out that they have a um, Philosopher's Stone in their chest. Um, Ed met up, or just at the end, found his father. So much happened, but yeah, it was incredible. I really enjoyed that episode. Um, you know, I'm at the moment I'm reacting to Avatar along with this show. And Avatar, like, immediately I was in. Where with this show, it honestly did take me a little bit like I was enjoying it but I wasn't like in uh, but now I can definitely say I'm, I'm in like I'm loving it I really want to know what happens next and I can't wait to watch, watch this episode so let's do straight into it Hello, Edward you appear to have grown some <laughs> that's the best thing you can say to him Anarko, what possessed you to burn down my home after what happened, we vowed to never turn back. You didn't want to be reminded of what you've done, and thought you could erase the memory by destroying the evidence. You ran away, and you know it. <laughs> this is off to a good start. Good reunion. You don't know a damn thing! You make me sick. He's exactly like I was when I was his age. Oh god, I hope you don't become that. That... Title is very literal. Slap. Hmm. I have a feeling he's going to be quite a complex character. The life form my son's transmuted. Are you positive that it was Trisha? Huh? Did you notice the eye color? Or the hair color. Huh? It was just a bush of the stuff. Are you telling me that that wasn't even Trisha? What? For all that those boys sacrificed, you're saying that thing they created wasn't even their mother? It's true. <laughs> you and I are exactly the same. Except it, Edward. Oh god, this guy. We make monsters. Oh, I don't want to be reminded of that. Already. Your father's about to head out. Of course he is. <laughs> Where's he off to? Just going forever? This one. Do you mind if I keep it? Of course. You're welcome to it. Why is the head like that? I need to tell you something about That is very America. suspicious. Huh? Something terrible is going to happen in this country soon. Oh, you good. Escape while you can. This country's lousy <laughs> with terrible things. It's too bad I won't get to enjoy your cooking anymore. Are we going to see him for a while? Is that it? Ooh, it's a good shot. I think he has grown You're a bit. You're not really going to dig it up, are you, Ed? <laughs> You really want to dig this thing up? What on earth? Rain makes him sick. Interesting. Whatever it is, it's going to be dramatic. It doesn't rain unless it's going to be dramatic. Is it going to be a, a, a cutaway? What colour's the hair? Hers was blonde, right? Like Mommy. theirs? Mom's hair was a light chestnut colour. Chestnut. Okay. This is black. And this pelvis? Mm. Pretty sure it's male. Male? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. Who was being brought back? This isn't your mother, Ed. And that's it. 
It really is impossible to bring the dead back to life. Yeah, you weren't even bringing the dead truth. back. <laughs> it was impossible all along. Curtis residence. I didn't expect this. You know ask Nicole? what she brought back? Because I was thinking yeah. that. I need to ask you something, teacher. I'm sorry to ask you this, but the child you transmuted? Are you sure that it was your child that you brought back? I mean, how would you really know? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> well, you've ruined her day. So Hohenheim, did he even bother to say where he was going? Of course he didn't. I know it doesn't seem like it, but he does care about you and your brother. <laughs> Yeah, I'll pass it on right after I clock him in the face. <laughs> yeah, the uh, funny way of showing it. Heading back to Central already, are you? I'm gonna have plenty of explaining to do. Um, Elle's gonna be the one probably talking to you. What the hell? And you? What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> Eating a delicious dinner. <laughs> he's just part of the crew now. Seriously? Oh, he's gone. How did this happen to you? Oh, you're making it look the same again? Damn. I wanted it to look a bit different. Unless... Yeah, it's the same. Ed, he'll be able to get his body back, right? Yeah, of course he will. I dug up the body that we transmuted in Resin Bowl. <gasps> There's a little bit of constant what? bad news for these Why boys. Why did you do that? Because, Al. Found out that the thing we buried wasn't really our mother. I don't know what, but it was something completely different. But if it wasn't, mm -hmm. then what happened to me? That's just it. This has actually convinced me we can return you to normal. Well, uh, Winry, do um, uh, do you remember when Al and I got in a fight when we were kids about who'd marry you? Al had a memory of something I don't recall. You seem oh. to clearly remember it the same way, Winry, which means that it happened without a doubt. If I was able to pull that much of you out, then I've got a hunch that your body's still in there and I can pull it out. You think my body's still in the portal? Existing uh, separately from my soul? <gasps> like sure. Mary's body. But that was a bit decayed. Right. What did you see? Oh, finally, that's coming back. And it was me. We're gonna get in there and pull your body out. Brother. But to do that, do you have to go back in? I remember looking at you from inside that thing. The thing we thought was mom. But my soul didn't bind. It must have rejected me right away. Hmm. So Interesting. We didn't harm anyone else's soul after all. Okay, why Mr. was it trying Elric, to bind with that? A telephone call from Izumi Curtis. All this time, I thought that I must have missed something. But it was impossible to do in the first place. Hmm. Ed. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you. No. So what did teacher have to say? New piece of the puzzle. Well, I'm not really sure why, but she said thank you. Thanks, brother. Thank you. I wasn't the one who killed mom after all. Everyone's getting their closure. That's nice. Finally, something good. I feel like I've been brought back to life. No. Our child wasn't made to suffer twice because of me. <laughs> Hug that big man. Brother, I've met other people who weren't exactly human, but they still managed to live their lives with a purpose. This body could reject me any time, but it's the same with being human. You never know when you might get sick or die in an accident. It's a very so good way of looking at it. I like this. And that's how I've managed to keep going. Still I try and find your body, but yeah, it's a good I way of looking at it. it anymore. Because He looked like his father I there. Can't, I can't take all the nights by myself. We'll knock that truth jerk on his butt. And then we're gonna pull your body right out of that place. Yeah. So how? That's weird. How do you plan on Have doing this? Always been so broad. He's getting bigger. So, um, 
learning a lot. So let's um from the top. Um, Hohenheim's is that his name? I, it's it's not a a name that sticks in my mind. It's it's a strange one. Um, his. Uh, he just arrived and went again. He like messed with Ed's head, and then left. Um, but he raised the question of what is that thing they brought back. So at first, I thought maybe it was this god figure who like claims itself to be a god figure, trying to make its way into the real world. But L said his soul like tried bonding with it which is very strange because if it was meant for the other thing why would it do that like what what purpose does it serve um and also like there was the if there was a baby one like that couldn't have been the god because i don't think the god would want to be a baby so it's like what are they bringing through it's, it's, a, it's a big question it might have something to do with um the homunculus. I'm not sure. But yeah, they, they sort of figure that, like, in this portal world dimension, Al's body is just sort of chilling in there. But, like, is it possessed? And how do you find it again? Like, do they have to do human transmutation again? Or whatever you'd call it now. Um, to get into that world? There's... And I'm assuming... Them saying that bringing humans back to life is impossible now. I kind of buy it. I wouldn't be, like, maybe down later down the line they might find a way. But for the moment, at le it, like, it definitely sounds like, yeah, it cannot be done. Which gave them all closure, which I really like. But if that's the case, then, what is this, like, other spirit world trying to do? What's its goals? Why has it? Why does it make out as like, oh, yeah, you want to bring people back to do this? Um, like, just just what is it? There's a lot of what is it questions. Um, but yeah, I've been wondering what their next piece in the Philosopher's Stone puzzle is, or like getting the body back puzzle. And that's what it is. Um, oh, we didn't have Mustang this episode. Mm -mm -mm, not a fan of that. But uh, hopefully next episode. And uh, anyway, um, if you want to check out my Patreon, you can watch the next episode right now. Please do, that'd be greatly appreciated. And also, thank you to Christian Howell for uh, being my one and only Patreon. Thank you, you're running this channel. And until next time, farewell.